Hello. This is a video for Edexcel Statistics 1. This is the third video in this series, and it will cover hypothesis tests for a binomial proportion. Consider this situation. A student wants to see whether a tetrahedral die is biased towards the value 1. He throws the die 30 times and counts the number of 1s he gets. So if we let x represent the number of 1s in 30 throws of the die, and p the probability that the die lands on the 1 face, then this makes it a binomial variable with the distribution x distributed b, 30 and p. So the reason we're using p rather than a quarter for this is because we think it might be biased at this stage and we don't know what the value of p is. So we have a what's called a null hypothesis, an initial situation, which is that the dice is fair. The probability of getting a 1 is 0.25. The other option is that the dice is not fair. It's biased towards the 1, so therefore the probability of getting a 1, the p, would be greater than 0.25. So if we carry out this experiment, how many ones would we be suspicious of? The expected number of ones in 30 throws of the die, if it's fair, is 7.5 as you can see on the screen here. And the number of ones that we get when we carry this out is going to be considered the test statistic. So, would we be suspicious of 10 ones from 30 throws of the dice? Perhaps. What about 11? 12 or 13? At what point would we say, well, there are too many ones appearing, and therefore we will reject H0? So to answer this question, we need to set a level of significance, which determines when we deem it unlikely to get a particular result under the null hypothesis. Often this is 5%, but it might be 1%, 10%, or any other value. In order to, de to decide when to reject H0, we need the smallest value of x such that the probability of getting that or more in terms of number of 1s to be less than that 5% that we've decided on for our significance level. You can work this out from your calculator or from a statistical package and find that the probabilities at 12 and 13 are the ones you need to be interested in. Getting 12 or more ones on a fair four-sided dice has a probability of about 5.07%, so slightly above our significance level. But getting 13 or more ones on our four-sided dice is just over 2%, so that one would be rejected in our hypothesis test. So if we got 12, we'd say no, it's still likely enough that this dice is fair, but if we got 13 or more, we'd say actually that's really unlikely if the dice is fair, so we'll reject H0. And that's what it says on this slide here. The probability that x is greater than or equal to 12 is bigger than the 5%, so we would accept H0 at that stage and say it's, the dice is fair. However, if it's 13 or more, then that's less than 5%. So we would reject H0 in that instance okay, and conclude that the probability on the, of getting a 1 on the dice is greater than a quarter. The effective levels of significance is 2.16% because that's actually the probability of getting 13 or more ones. So a hypothesis test for one-tailed has the following steps in it. You need to decide what your null and alternative hypotheses are. And then either you say, well, we think that maybe the probability is less than this or the probability is more than this. Decide on a significance level. As we said before, that's normally 5%, but it could also be other values. Carry out your experiment, so collect data, and obtain how many successes you've got out of n trials. 
then perform the hypothesis test and compare the probability of getting either less than or equal to what, whatever you found, x successes, with your significance level, or greater than that same number of uh, successes with the significance level if the alternative hypothesis is greater than. If that probability ends up being less than the significance value, you reject H0. In all other circumstances, you would accept H0. So here's an example of a hypothesis test carried out. We suspect a coin of being biased towards heads. We toss it 20 times and we see that 15 heads appear. We want to test this at the 5% significance level whether the coin is biased towards heads. So this is obviously a binomial situation if the probability remains constant throughout. So we have the binomial distribution with n is 20. We want to test it against h0, the probability that it is fair, so that's the probability of getting 0.5, and the alternative hypothesis is that the coin is biased towards heads, in other words, the probability is bigger than 0.5. You can either work out the critical value like we did before, so where we said that if it was 13 or more, we would reject h0 for number of ones on a four-faced dice, or you can calculate the probability of the observed result. So we've got an observed result of 15 heads, so we're going to find the probability that x is greater than or equal to 15. So using the statistical package, you can see that that probability is 0 0.0207, which is less than the 5% that we decided on for our significance level so we would reject H0. There is evidence to suggest that this coin is biased towards heads. There are also two-tailed tests, because where we don't know whether the coin is, high, for example, biased towards heads or tails. So we typically test both sides of the um, probability distribution, and you'd split the level of significance into half. There are going to be examples of two-tailed tests in the Poisson distribution in other videos. That's the end of this video, and it is also the last video in this series.